Hi everybody, John from Wire here. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to transfer a domain from godaddy.com to cloudflare.com. The reason that we're going to transfer it to Cloudflare is that they are notoriously pretty affordable and some of the cheapest renewals that I've found online when it comes to domain names. So that's why we're going to use Cloudflare for this example. While we're gonna be using Cloudflare for this video, the steps that I'm going to take on GoDaddy to transfer the domain away is exactly the same steps that you would take if you were to transfer your domain to another registrar instead. So you can substitute the steps that I'm taking for whatever registrar you wanna move this website domain to. And if you're going to use Cloudflare, all the better. This video is just for you. So if you have a Cloudflare account already, you're already set to go. But if you don't have a Cloudflare account, you can get one by going to cloudflare.com and then clicking on the sign up button in the upper right hand corner. So once you click on sign up, you just need to enter a username and password or an email and password rather, and then you're all set to go. Confirm your email address once that arrives, and then you'll be able to log in to your Cloudflare account. All right, so now that you have a Cloudflare account and you have a GoDaddy account that already has all of your domains on it, what you can do next is log into your GoDaddy account, and then on the drop down next to your name, click on My Products. And then in the My Products section, click on one of your domains that you want to transfer. So I'm going to start with this domain right here. So the first thing you need to do is to go into Cloudflare and then add a site. So I'm just going to type in the name of my site, make sure that's correct, and then click on add site. Then I'm not going to select any of these. I'm just going to go with the free option because that's all we need right now. So now we have the DNS records for the domain as they exist within GoDaddy. You don't need to change anything here. Just click on continue. And the next set of instructions are going to show you how you can log into your GoDaddy account and remove the following name servers and then add Cloudflare's name servers. So let's go and do that right now. So let's go into our domain manager. And then if we scroll all the way down here and we click on manage DNS. Now we're in the DNS management settings for this domain. If we scroll all the way down, we can see name servers and now we can change our default name servers. So again, GoDaddy makes this very difficult because they know you're trying to transfer your domain away. So click on the button that says, enter my own name servers, the advanced version, go back to Cloudflare, copy each one of these, and just paste them within name server one and two. And then once you've done that, make sure that both of these are correct, and then click on save. Again, we want to consent to update the name servers. We know what we're doing. Then click on continue. And then it's going to wait a couple minutes for this name server to update. So I'm going to go back into Cloudflare. Then I'm going to click on done, check name servers. So now I'm on the quick start guide so I can get started for this. I'm going to save these settings, but you can, of course, manage this however you like. And since there's nothing on my domain right now, I don't really need to save any of these different features. There's nothing to minify. Sure, we can use Brutley. Then we can click on finish. So now what's going to happen is that GoDaddy will hopefully, within a reasonable amount of time, remove these name servers from the account and then update them with the name servers that you entered, name server one from Cloudflare and name server two. So I'm gonna come back in a couple minutes or a couple hours and see if this transition has taken place. Okay, so it's only been a couple minutes and I can see that if I refresh the page within Cloudflare, it says that Cloudflare is now protecting your site. If I go back into the domain manager for this domain, I can see that the name servers have updated to the Cloudflare name servers. So now what I can do is I can actually transfer this domain into Cloudflare so that I can renew the domain on Cloudflare 
instead of renewing it within GoDaddy. GoDaddy is notoriously more expensive to renew your domains. I think it's somewhere around like 12 or $13 a year for a .com. And Cloudflare is much, much cheaper because they renew your domains at cost. If you go to the Cloudflare registrar, which is cloudflare.com slash products slash registrar, and I'll include a link within the description below, you can see that there is at cost pricing for registration and renewal. So while GoDaddy might charge you 11 or 12 bucks every single year to renew your domain, Cloudflare is only gonna charge you eight bucks. And you really won't find a lower price out there on the internet today for these types of renewals especially if you have these common top level domains, so .com, .net, .info, etc. So click on register now, and you can see that we don't have any domains currently within Cloudflare, but that'll change soon. If we go into transfer, you'll see that we have our current domain, SedonaChocolates.com, and it's going to cost us exactly what it said on that earlier page, $8.03. Before we transfer our domain over into Cloudflare, we have to add a payment method. So I'm gonna go and do that right now, and then I'll come back to this page before I click on Confirm. Okay, so I've added a credit card to my payment methods, and now I'm going to go back into Registrar. Again, I'm gonna to go to Transfer, and then I'm going to see that I have the ability to confirm domains now for my domain name. So I'm going to click on Confirm Domains, and then I'll have to log into GoDaddy, unlock the domain, request the authorization code, and then enter the authorization code here. So let's go and do that now within GoDaddy. So go back to GoDaddy, and from the My Products page, you can get to My Products by clicking on the dropdown, then clicking on My Products. We're going to go into the domain itself, and then if we scroll all the way down at the bottom, we're going to click on transfer domain away from GoDaddy. Again, GoDaddy is going to try everything within their power to make sure that you don't transfer the domain, but we're going to not give them more money than we have to and continue with transfer. Keep in mind that there are certain limitations where you will not be able to transfer a domain this spans across any registrar that you use. Typically the restrictions are you can't have purchased the domain within the last 60 days, and you can't have already transferred the domain to another registrar within 60 days as well. There's also some special restrictions around certain types of TLDNs. And if you have one of those unique TLDNs, it might be additional restrictions on how and when you're able to transfer those domain names from one registrar to another. But let's continue with this instance because we haven't purchased this domain within the last 60 days and we haven't transferred it either. So I'm going to click on continue with transfer. And then I'm going to click on the button that says click here to see authorization code. And I'm going to copy this code to my clipboard. Once I've done that, I'll go back to Cloudflare. Then I'll paste the authorization code here. Once I've done this, I'll click on Confirm Authorization Codes. And then it will require me to enter my contact information for the Whois records. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to click on the Confirm button and then go to the next page. Okay, so now I have a transfer underway, but we're not done yet. There is one last step that we have to do on GoDaddy.com in order to finalize the transfer of this domain. And I'm going to wait a couple hours and then come back to this to show you where this setting is. Okay, so the final step in this domain transfer process is to wait a couple hours and then log back into your GoDaddy account go to your account and then my products, and then under domains, click on manage all. So you'll notice within this page that the domain that we're trying to transfer currently has this pending transfer out next step. But notice what happens when I click on view details. Nothing happens every single time. What you have to do in this case is you have to go to the drop down arrow right here next to domains, 
click on transfers, and then click on transfers out and select all transfers out. And here you will see the final step in this GoDaddy transfer process. You need to select the check mark next to the domain that you're trying to transfer out and then accept the transfer. And you'll get this message right here. Within 15, sometimes 30 minutes, this domain will be off of your GoDaddy account and it will live in your new domain registrar, or in our case, it will live within cloudflare.com. And that is how you transfer the domain out from GoDaddy into Cloudflare, where you can manage all of the different renewal options there at a much cheaper price and really remove yourself from having to deal with any of the domains within GoDaddy again. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions about this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one of those comments for those asking for help. And again, if you have any other things that you'd like to learn about as it relates to GoDaddy or domain names or websites, uh, leave a comment below with what you're trying to discover, what you're trying to learn. And I'll do my best and see if it's worth making a video about. Thanks again.